Jamal uh, James is going to meet uh, Raj Khabutar and uh, I got to say that uh, Jamal James Ryden scored 27-1-0. And this is the match for World Boxing Association World uh, Welter title. In his previous outing, Jamal James outworked Thomas Delorme. He holds notable victories over Antonio DeMarco, Gennardo Gonzalez, Mahlon Montes, Abel Ramos, Diego Gabriel Chavez and many, many other great names. He is a pressure fighter with very, very violent jabs that are open that are creating an opening for big right hand 12 ko's but he likes to take part in long wars now he's going to meet rajkha butai 13 10 ko's fighting out of uh, russia 5 foot 10 72 inches is uh, his reach jamal james 6 foot 2 but interestingly 70 inches is his reach jamal james gonna have reach this advantage but uh, butai is a finisher rajkha butai fought to uh, no contest for vacant World Boxing Association World Welter title and Eurasian Boxing Parliament Welter title against Alexander Besputin. You know what happened in that match, there's no need to discuss. He was better than Terry Chatwood via, TK, via KO. He destroyed Silverio Ortiz, Leonardo Tiner, Azel Cosio. I'm just going to say he was better than Janelle Gonzalez via non was decision. If Rajka Butayev scores a knockout within the first six, seven rounds, He's gonna win. Other than that, Jamal James is just technically too good. His technical aspect of the game is brutally good, and uh, I kind of have a feeling that Jamal James will try to keep this fight. Uh, will try to keep this fight long. I believe he will kick off slowly. Especially, I think Jamal James' technical game plan is uh, going to be too much for uh, Rajka Butayev. But anyway. I'm not going to underestimate Butayev, so I'm going with over 6.5. But if I have to pick a side, then probably James.